Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. Hope you all had a wonderful day. Morning, evening, afternoon. All right, Virgo. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Be prepared for the drama. Be prepared for the drama. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link below this video. Click that link and that will show you a list of all the different ways you can get a hold of me. All right, Virgo, let's see, back for another. So judgment fell out, okay, scorpionic energy. I feel like we, I keep saying Scorpio in your readings, Virgo. So I don't know what's going on there with some of you, um, but there is definitely some kind of wake up call or something happening here. All right, let's see. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, we're going to put those aside. The moon, two of swords, nine of swords. Okay, Piscean energy. All right, <clears throat> six of pentacles, four of swords, ten of swords, two of pentacles. Big decision being made, center of the reading here. Having options, thinking about which to commit. Okay, Knight of Swords. Oh, gosh, see? King of Cups. You just change the deck. King of Pentacles. You change the deck and it all turns around. Okay, so Seven of Wands is in the reverse here. Okay, um, so this is definitely... Oh, excuse me. Here we go again. Weak boundaries. Plans stalling out. Perhaps quitting, not fighting anymore. Or not pushing back anymore. So... For some of you this could resonate for you um there's an energy here of like no longer fighting for a connection this could be you could be another person or just no longer fighting against the connection let's see okay <clears throat> all right so oh seven of swords in the reverse king of wands in the reverse page of cups and the four of wands so i feel like uh someone is dropping the ego Dropping the ego, getting caught, getting their ass handed to them on a plate. That's what I feel. Seven of Swords in the reverse. This is this is 100% getting caught. This is like punishment. Somebody coming in and making amends. Why? Making amends for what? For being a prick. <laughs> or a, a prick ass. <laughs> um, King of Wands reversed. Nasty MFR. Nasty. Corrupt. A bully, somebody with sexual issues, weakness, uh, somebody who was not, re not not ready, not yet ready, never prepared. Look at this, Page of Cups and the Four of Wands, okay, coming in, wants a reunion, wants to connect with you, apology. For some of you, this might just simply be an apology, okay? Um, what's going on here? So, yes, we have the moon. Two of Swords, so this deception, stalemate, anxiety, and stress. Okay, somebody's energy here for sure. Okay, not revealing enough. A lot of anxiety and stress. Some of you blocked somebody. Some of you blocked. You said, hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. All right, let's see. What are your love messages for Virgo? Love messages for Virgo. I'm going to give this like a little bit of a shuffly, shuffle de do here. A little bit, a little bit different. These cards are hard to shuffle because they're tiny. All right, let's see. Okay, flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Express your love. Go ahead, make the romantic gesture, romantic feelings. Okay, somebody's coming in. Apology, flirting with you. Let's see. So, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay? Um, coming in in those energies. Doesn't have to be that sign, but coming in in those energies. So, Judgment is here. Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Um, well, there's definitely some kind of like an awakening happening here. Okay? It's a decision. 
clarity absolute total complete clarity coming from this person whoever they are okay um this doesn't feel like new this feels like maybe somebody you're already talking to or you met it could very well be a past person it just depends on you um it could be both if you've got a current and a past fling or lover um, but there's definitely a flirtatious energy coming in and again some kind of an apology is what i feel they could be coming in um, to apologize to you by way of like flirting just kind of like they just spirits so weird i think some of my spirit gods are like 80 years old they just said tickle your fancy <laughs> listen i'm telling you i never say that ever ever i'm an 80s girl 80s 90s I, I don't ever say those words so that i don't know if maybe your person said that to you or said those words before i don't know who says that but i just heard tickle your fancy fancy oh you fancy virgo you fancy all right let's take a look at judgment let's see what's going on here <gasps> yep ten of cups wake up call i want to marry you baby i want to be with you I love you. You're my one and only. I support you. A wake up call about what? Okay. What are they finally realizing? They broke things down. They left you. They caused problems in a family or for your family or in your relationship. Okay. Somebody's coming in here. They're going to pay you the money they owe you. Are you and your kids or pay you back for something? That's the sideline message there. Okay. All right. In a more legal sense, if you were in a divorce or you had like some financial issues going on with somebody, judgment comes against them. Okay. It's a court saying judgment is held against them for something that they owe to a family or a relationship, finances, money that's owed to be paid. Okay. This person might have just been lazy, not working not doing anything passive okay so now they're going to start paying but as far as like a love reading goes i feel there's an energy coming in with someone here who's going to start being more generous towards you in the love department um reciprocity giving receiving helping out <clears throat> allowing you they just said allowing you to help Okay, not playing the, um, I could do this all by myself and I don't need you kind of thing. Allowing you to contribute, asking you for advice, asking your opinion. You might have been dealing with someone with that king of wands in the reverse who's quite, you know, bossy or controlling. Okay, um, so let's see, six pentacles. All right, temperance coming into balance and even everything out. Sagittarius energy there. So, um, no more being disruptive or causing chaos or um, giving you a sense of that the relationship was out of control or you were, or it was chaotic, okay? Um, coming in to balance everything out, to temper things that's all about that temperance energy and i feel like um this is all about self-control and moderation let's take a look at the four of swords hmm yeah nine of wands on the four of swords this person was definitely um not was, is going to be defending. I don't know why I said was. It feels like it's going to be defending the peace in the relationship. This is all this person wants. They want to have peace in this connection with you. Let bygones be bygones, okay? Um, I feel like that's a mainstay for them. They, I'm just here. They just don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to fight. They want, they don't want to fight. You know, it's like, it's either like, I feel like before was you were fighting all the time. And now it's just all about the love, <clears throat> all about the love. So they're going to be coming in. Okay. Apologizing to you. Um, 
trying to renew things here with you, but being very persistent about renewing and recovering this relationship. But I see a lot of flirting. Um, so they could be flirting with you in person or communicating with you, sending you some flirty messages without... I don't feel like you're going to get a text or a call that initially is like, I'm sorry at first. I feel like it's going to be, um, yeah, their usual ways, um, reaching out like just in a flirty way. I don't know. How do you guys flirt? How do you flirt with each other? Or how does this person flirt with you? Whatever they did before, they're going to do that again. Okay. It's just trying to like, feels like, um, what's this word? Like pre-lube the situation, primer, prime the situation a little bit. Ease their way back in so they can apologize to you. They don't want to get rejected. They want you to hear them out. And they're afraid if they just come right out and say it, then they're going to be blasted. They, It's a little bit controlling. It's a little manipulative, you know, coming in and just kind of priming I feel like it's an energy of to see where you're at, to see if you're angry still. Flirting could just be like, hey, I'm, I really miss you. You know, um, that kind of thing. It, it doesn't, like the sorry is going to come. The apology is going to come, but it's not going to come right away. This person's hitting rock, they, they're, they're hitting rock bottom this month. They are total defeat. Total defeat. I don't know what you did. If you did something, if you ended something, um, they're ready for a new start. Again, recovery. They're hoping you'll forgive them that you haven't moved on from them, or that you, you know, that you're not already gone. I don't know whatever whatever it was like this this person has totally hit rock bottom if they were in that king of wands energy where they were reversed you know um defeated if they were like bullying or controlling or something they're just completely they couldn't get over you virgo they just couldn't get over you can't get one over virgo virgo is very kind very sweet but also very sharp and virgo will overlook things and virgo will Virgo, I you know you how you know how you are. You, you and and I think that I speak for all of you, or at least if you haven't gotten there yet, know this about yourself. You have the ability to discern when is the right time to open your mouth and when it is not, and you pick and choose your battles. And I feel like a lot of you defeated this person's controlling ways by choosing not to engage, and that is how you won. That's how you win. Because every time you get in the ring with someone, you're telling them, yes, I'm giving the opportunity to pound my face in. Because <laughs> you don't have an ego. You just know how to play the game. And those of you who distanced yourself or blocked this person or just walked away, that you were the one with the last word. You threw the final punch by not... It's called, Bruce Lee calls it the art of fighting without fighting learn about it that's how you play the game with people walking away a, per, a boxer in the ring can't fight himself who's he gonna fight she's just nothing but shadow boxing who's he gonna fight he's there by himself <laughs> Bird was like i ain't got time for this <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> so this person is completely like defeated they just hit the ground um Okay, two of pentacles again with the two of pentacles. Hmm. Now they're ready to commit. They're, you really had them struggling. You really like, you left them no choice, Virgo. But to stay or go. You just said, in fact, you didn't even give them, some of you didn't even give them an ultimatum. You just gave yourself an ultimatum. And you just said, you know, I'm not staying for this. You got to go. Wait, you don't got to go. I got to go. <laughs> so the two of pentacles is here now. Ready to compromise. Making it ready to make a decision here. Big time. 
not willing to let you go, coming in to express their love. Let's see, two of pentacles. Okay, oh yeah, opening up. Oh, they're opening up. What are they gonna tell you? I'm ready, I'm ready to commit. I'm no longer juggling. I've, I've thought about things, I've, I've weighed all the options and you're the only option. It was just a matter of like, you know, it, it feels to me like they've gained some stability back here, okay? They're unstable. That's why they hit rock bottom. That's why, or you cause them to hit rock bottom by just leaving them down there on the rocks by themselves. By themselves. With that four of pentacles here coming in, I don't feel like this, this person is like holding tight. I don't feel like they ever truly wanted to let you go. They just needed to face themselves. And Virgo, you allowed them to do that by removing yourself. And uh, forcing their hand. Forcing them to just be with themselves. Because you were giving and giving and you were helping. And uh, some of you, not all of you. Some of you were just there and, you know, just being a partner. Just doing the best you could with what you had. And um, at the time, it seems like back then, that didn't matter. It wasn't enough. And then this person got caught doing something, going outside of the relationship or the marriage. They couldn't defend it. They got caught and they had no words. They tried to lie, but you didn't fall for it. They tried to manipulate. They tried to tell you tall tales. They were spinning yarn and you were just like, nope, nope, nope. Not hearing it. Nope. Your lips are moving. And when your lips are moving, it means you're lying. And you called it. You called it, Virgo. And now they're here, hitting rock bottom. Like, damn. Can't get one over on Virgo. Mm -mm. Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. You can't make this up. Four of Pentacles on the Four of Pentacles. Point blank period. I'm not letting you go. I'm sorry, say that again. I'm not letting you go ever again. And I'm going to be here and I'm going to prove it. I'm coming out in the open and I'm expressing myself and I'm going to tell you I screwed up. I You caught me. I screwed up. I want to make this up to you. Here's the apology. I'm sorry. And Virgo, some of you may already have somebody else. Others of you are going to make them work for it and prove it with this Knight of Swords here. Don't give me lip service. Okay? I don't want to see any laziness. I want to see you work. Work, 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 work. I'm not taking stubborn. If you, Virgo, you're in this position. This person's coming back. Okay? This is what you want to do? Okay, now you got to show me. Show me. And if you give me excuses why you can't do something, bye. Virgo's like, bye. Oh, excuse, bye. You're back on timeout. Some of you put this person in timeout. <laughs> Who are you dealing with? Who were you? You were dealing, you know what, Virgo? Son here, you just got your confidence. So this person's hitting rock bottom, ready to come in. And you're here with all your confidence. Like, hmm, let me think about it. I got to weigh my options now. I need to see, because now I'm stable. So that Knight of Swords energy, this person coming in, fast talking, but ready to make a lifestyle change here, okay? This person's not gonna gift you, I'll tell you that. But I feel like with the Ace of, Ace of um, Pentacles in the reverse, this person is like going to go into, they'd go into debt for you. <laughs> they're, they're greedy about this. They want to be with you. And the minute you tell them yes, they're going to flip that Ace of Pentacles around and invest wholly, wholeheartedly. 100%. Romantic feelings. Okay? 
this person is really getting in this place like truly like i don't know what happened like they it's just it was they had nothing left when you walked away from them or maybe they walked away from you and you just said bye bye and you didn't chase them and then they would look they turn around and like what 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 wait but I, I didn't mean I was going to walk away forever. I just needed to, you know, go have some fun or do my own thing because I was more important than you. And <clears throat> you're telling me that you're not chasing me. You're not coming back. You're not going to be there. Virgo's like, bye bye <laughs> Have at it. Do what you got to do. Let's take a look at this King of Cups. So they're coming in now. They're really taking a look at how they feel, right? How they truly feel about you. And expressing that to you. All right. King of Cups has the Four of Wands. And the King of Pentacles has the Fool in Reverse. Um, for some of you, this is you, male or female, okay, sitting here. Um, you just, some of you just couldn't care less anymore. I just, I really feel that way. Not all of you, but some of you. You're just apathetic towards the whole thing. You've lost that love and feeling. <clears throat> Whoa, that love and feeling. I feel like a lot of you are just like, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like you cannot, you can't blow air into this dead horse anymore. There's no CPR that's going to work on this relationship. Some of you are just boing. I'm out. Some of you have a king of cups whom may be coming in that's like your new bow or your king or queen is your new sweetheart <clears throat> okay now for others <clears throat> excuse me for others you it's another earth sign okay whom you're not interested in in in, in at all and you're just like it's not even worth the risk anymore this is the fool's absence. This is about being unpre like unprepared absence. Okay. All right. Now, as far as like two new people coming in, it's really hard when you have all these kings to determine what's what. Okay. So let me break it down. First, I said with that. Now, the second thing I'm saying here is this is the energy of one person, two kings coming in with the emotions and with the, um, the physical. Okay. So with their emotion, it's like, will you marry me? I want to be yours. Can we get together? Can we spend time together? Can I visit you? Can you visit me? Can I come to your home? Can I sleep over? Can I spend the night with you in your home? Or you spend the night with me in my home? Can I meet your family? Can I meet your friends? Will they accept me back again after all this? Can we try? I really want to. They're coming through with all this emotional stuff, okay? Do your, do your parents still like me do your fa does your family still are they still interested will your kids still be like you know how do they feel about it they want to talk about all this stuff this emotional stuff here and um i just feel like this person for some of you they just want to come home for some of you they're just hoping that you're gonna let them home some of them some of you had the, this person moved out or they left Okay, maybe there's arguments and now they're they're coming in with that emotional, you know. And what you choose to do with that is up to you. Now there's also this King of Pentacles here. Okay, who's um hmm. It's King of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, could be somebody else coming in, um, who's willing to you know, careless risk, they don't care. They don't care what happens to them. They come in with this risk. Okay, so again, this could be two people. It could be your person from the past. You just have to wait for October to play out and see how it plays out. But I know, sitting right here, some of you let go. Someone from the past is coming in to apologize. Some of you also have two new people coming in. One person you know from, like, I just heard somebody's brother's friend or brother's or a friend's brother or something coming in um trying to give their love to somebody that you know from home or family or something um and for others you've got um 
you know, one other person coming in here. And that was like some, wasn't that yesterday's reading? But who were we missing yesterday? The King of Swords you were missing yesterday. I mean today. Okay, four of, one, four of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. All right. This, okay, so we're going to break it down even more. You've got one person coming in. <clears throat> who wants to be with you? As I was saying, they want to come home, see the kids, see the family. They want to reconnect. They want to get married again. If you've gotten a divorce, um, they want to be in a committed relationship with you. This is 11 11. This is your soulmate. And you, Virgo, are here with the King of Pentacles, the Fool and the Four of Swords reversed. Okay? So this kind of feels like to me that you are a bit burned out by this whole thing you know you're feeling restless you're not you're not willing to um you're not willing to take a calculated risk with this person okay but be careful because your restlessness and your carelessness might throw you right back into this relationship. So some of you got to really pay attention to your intuition, see how you feel, that kind of thing. Because this person's coming in with romantic feelings. And I know like some of you are going to, you know, do the whole like, you got to show me no lip service. But then this person starts lulling you to sleep with their charm and their emotions. Because that's the king of cups, no matter what their sign. They got that watery fluid play on your emotions. King of Cups, it's very dangerous for the women. <laughs> the ones, the empaths, right? Because the King of Cups comes in in that feminine energy, like your best friend, plays on the emotions. Now, the King of Cups upright is not a player, okay? It's just that King of Cups has a way of, you know, lulling you to sleep with emotional the feelings and you know making you feel real good like you're on uh, I don't know, oxycodone or something you know so you've got this thing like you're kind of like okay I, you're I hear you like you're saying right now I hear I see some of you you're like no way I come back and have to work for it blah, blah. <clears throat> but as soon as you open yourself up for a message from this person you're like <laughs> Yeah, babe, whatever you want. I love you. I'm just so happy you're back. <laughs> and then it, the cycle starts all over again. So, Virgo. You're your, you're your own worst enemy, Virgo. It's not this person. It's you. You're the one that's got to be in control of yourself. You're the one that's got to have your boundaries up. And pick your fights. And you usually do. You're usually on top of that, like, like, but this person comes in and you're just like, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say to you. I feel like some of you just, I don't know. Some of you wind up giving in and then you've got buyer's remorse and then the cycle starts all over again. And then there you go. There you go with yourself, Virgo. And then you're blaming that person because they lulled you to sleep. But you know what? You let them. So stop letting somebody lull you to sleep. There's a time and a place for that. But when you don't feel safe or somebody's trying to come back up and rebuild the relationship, your emotions have got to be out of it. <laughs> you got to be thinking with your brain and not your head for some of you men and, you, and your heart for some of you women. Not when a relationship needs to be repaired. Although, listen... Yeah, your heart should be involved to some degree because, I mean, you're going to have to love this person if you want to give them another chance. But you got to be sensible. You know how I say it. You know how I say it. All right, let me see. What are your other messages here? Virgo. Virgo, your, your love life. Ha. Point blank period past is returning i don't think mercury retrogrades over yet some of you might have already had like you got this going on already you're already communicating with this person watch yourself virgo watch yourself don't recreate those soul ties again until this person's earned it 
sweet text message. See, Virgo, this person's gonna come in with that sweet, sweet, sweetie, sweet, sweet. It's a King Cups for sure. Gonna come in with that sweet. It's gonna be that berry white sweet. Hey baby, I really miss you. I've been thinking about you. Oh, I've been thinking about you too. I really miss you too. And then you get that sinister laugh by your person. I got her. I got him. <clears throat> no, I don't think it's manipulative. I really don't. I just think that the charm, the charisma pulls you in. Okay. You see? Spirit's trying to tell you. This person really did. They really hit rock bottom because this this was the last and final straw. Virgo, you gave it to him and you gave it to him good. By not giving it to him at all. You just said, I'm out. Bye. <laughs> you know, that's it. That's it. Remove yourself from the game. And they, and they did. They really did hit rock bottom. Because I kind of feel like this person did not think that... They thought that you... I, I just... Yeah, they just said... They, this person thought that, that they, all of their charms and sweetness... I just feel like be prepared for this, Virgo. Because there might be a trust issue, but I'm telling you, I'm seeing in the cards, you still got to use your own discernment about this person, this past person coming back. But I'm seeing in the cards here that this person is really like wanting to recover this and make these changes here. I have a new start. They want to move on from the past and start all over. Express how they feel about you. The whole nine yards. But make them work for it, Virgo. Make them work. Make them work. Give them chores. Little discipline, not punishment. Little discipline. There's got to be consequences. Okay? That fool reversed. There's always consequences when the fool is reversed. Right? When the fool's upright, this is like, yeah, I'm going to take a risk, but I'm aware of the risk. Therefore, I'm conscious of the risk. In the reverse, this is a careless risk. I'm not even looking where I'm going. And this is where the con this is where the lessons get learned because there's consequences. In the upright, it's more strategic. Yeah, I'm going to take a risk, but I know if I jump off that cliff, I know I'm going to, I could fall to my death. Okay, I'm aware of that, but I'm willing to take that risk. And yeah, I'll have the consequence, but I'm aware. This is like, what, what cliff? What? There's a cliff? See that little doggy there? He's running away. He's like, you're about to jump, you fool. And here he's running back saying, no, 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 don't do it. He's trying to make him aware. And the fool is just stupid. He's the joker. He's dumb. Don't be dumb. Be aware of the risks. Know the consequences. And let this person know what the consequences are. If they're going to come back and pull any shade. I don't think they will. I feel like they're coming through true and honest. All right. So let me see. Let's take a look and see what your advice is here. Even though all I do is give you advice here, Virgo. <clears throat> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. All right, let's see. Virgo's advice. Virgo. How you doing, you guys? How's everybody? You get your Halloween costumes all picked out? Everybody know what you're going to be for Halloween? You dressing up or nah? Taking your kids, grandkids, or you got older kids and they go do their own thing. Let's see. I don't know if it wants to come out. I think spirits like, hmm, Kel, we don't need to speak. We gave all the advice already that Virgo needs to have. We're going to do the singles after this, you guys. Yes, we are. Um, I am doing live paid mini readings this Friday. 
8 p.m. Eastern Central Time. So if you've been paying me in the chat, you're gonna have to wait till Friday. Every Friday. Um, I'm not. I'm not doing any right here right now. Gosh. All right. No advice. I think you know your advice. Let's see what your moonology messages are. Maybe they want to give you something here. Yes, they do. Okay, a new start is coming. It's the new moon. I told you, I told, I don't know if I told you or I warned you. A new start is coming. The cycle repeats. A fiery climax is approaching. <sighs> Be careful of this though. This is what gets you, Virgo. This is what gets you. You you, cre you recreate that soul tie with that person and you get all yummy and cushy mushy with each other and then boom. Your dreams need a practical plan. There you go. You can have your dreams, Virgo. Okay, we've got full moon in Aries. This could be an Aries coming in. We've got Taurus for some. Your dreams need a practical plan. That means take your dreams and your visions bring them down to terra firma and give them a practical plan of how things are going to work and how, you know, work it out in your head. Be a little strategic. You know why the king of swords isn't here? Because you've got to be the king of swords. You have to be the king or the queen of swords now with this person. And the king, queen of swords is someone who um, is very intentional with their actions. They have a purpose. The, the 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 king or queen of swords can sit in or sit down at a chess game and knows how to move because they can see six seven eight moves ahead okay you got to be able to look ahead you have to be practical and strategic okay and you have to be completely honest honest with yourself and honest with this person and not take any s-h-i-t I don't know why I spelled that out because I always wind up saying the word. The King of Swords does not take, you got to boss up, level up mentally. You can keep your heart. You need to be practical. Um, okay. Let's get your charms. Wait, they're telling me to do it again. So, um, one of my spirit guides must have been in the bathroom, was out to lunch. So do it again. They said, get another card. Okay, here we go. Two of Swords. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision yet. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Don't pretend there is no problem. And overanalyze th this situation, Virgo. Yes, this time, overanalyze it. Look at the pros and the cons. And think eight moves ahead. See it down the line. If this happens, what will be the consequence of that? If that happens... What would be the result of that? Think it out. Think it through. Critical thinking. Use your critical thinking skills in this relationship. In a past relationship where you've been done wrong and you want to have another chance with this person, you need a game plan. You can't just go in it willy-nilly. And they're going to try a little bit here, but you, you know. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. Scholarly. Cheerful. Dependable. Mischievous. you got to school somebody here. They're going to come in with this page of cups, sweet, nice, sweet text message, all that. And you're going to come in with this page of pentacles. Like, oh, uh, I got your message. What's your plan here, buddy? <laughs> what you do? What are you doing? What, you got plans? Or are you just coming in to lull me to sleep? What are you doing? Okay, time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Excellent opportunity for what? For you to school somebody, for you to get yourself in a position where you're not taking any shit from anybody. I'm sorry, S-H-I-T. There is some good news about your career. Maybe a promotion or a scholarship coming in for you. Possibly a new area of study. Some of you are working on something here, a new area of study. Um, you know, the Page of Pentacles can be very student-like, okay? Comes in some very patient um kind of studious but also someone who's who thinks about raising themselves up to a higher level okay and now you have the eight of water for some of you there's a need to move on from this you may be seeking more 
from this relationship than what you may be getting. And that's fine. You, you can choose. You have the options. Some of you are just on a spiritual quest and are just choosing to make big life changes or different changes in your life. A lot of you are changing your priorities, for sure. A lot of you are just like, you know what? Mm. Just schooling this person gave me so much confidence that now I feel like I can really, I'll never be in a toxic, bad situation ever again. That could be something that you're learning here. Some of you are leaving home, you're relocating, you're moving, or you just bought a home. Are you looking? Or you will be? All right, let's get your charms. Let me clean this up a little bit here. I got a whole bunch of cards out. I don't even know what to call this reading. This is something. I mean, listen, I prefaced and I was like, I don't know if the past was coming back. I mean, kind of felt like it. But when the card falls out and says it, well, there you go. I'm actually going to move these out of the way here you guys I got that song stuck in my head work 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 sing it will you I don't know the words that's all I know is there more to it I don't know if there's any more words to that song you know you always remember like the one hit the one liners work 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 da, 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 da. I don't think I could I don't think I could sing it if I even knew the words. Alright, let's see. Charms, charm time. Somebody told me my singles reads are not long enough. I don't like people who complain. If you want to give me constructive feedback on how you think I could make something better. I'm open to that. But when you come in and complain and criticize, you just, I'm cutting that sandbag loose. I don't need you. All right. Ooh, I've got a mermaid. Um, for you ladies, you know the mermaids? <laughs> mermaids, um, she's a man eater. How's that song go? I just heard the man eater from Hollow Notes. She's a man eater. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out. Boy, she'll chew you up. Virgo, that's you right now. Oh, but you're doing it like in a really sweet spiritual way. Some of you are getting close to Jesus. Some of you are bringing someone to Jesus in the way they're... Uh... Oh, you're not taking... You're not dealing with anything now. You're like, you come with me. We're walking with the Lord. Or someone like him. We're walking with spirit. But this is Christianity, and we're not going to pretend. Jesus is on this cross here, and I know you can't see it. This isn't even, this is Catholicism, because Jesus is only on the cross in the Catholic Church, um, suffering for the sins. You're no longer suffering for anyone's sins, that's for sure. Okay? And you've got a strawberry here. Okay? Strawberry fields forever. Maybe you're eating strawberries. Some of you... Um, Lost your rosary. I just heard it's by the dryer. <laughs> the washer, dryer in your laundry room. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, the laundries need Jesus. That's for sure right now. Um, okay, some of you guys, you've got... Oh, somebody might... They just said um, a mermaid idea. A mermaid for Halloween. Uh, some of you men, I know you're going to a Halloween party. You might meet yourself a little mermaid. Okay? Or a cute little blonde girl. Um... Or a blonde guy, which whatever you're, whatever you're into. Who's who's got this the strawberry flavored lipstick or lip gloss? Which one of you? Which one of you is messing around with that? Because I can smell it. It smells delish. Oh, okay. And we've got a choo choo train here. Oh, this just gave, they gave me a strong vibe of the little choo choo train track that goes around a Christmas tree. I just saw that image. Treat that I don't even know if people do that anymore. Choo choo train track going around the bottom of a Christmas tree. Who's that resonating for? I don't even know. I just saw it. It was so cute. It's not all that big, but it's really cute. Some of you are on a train list. You're taking a trip somewhere. 
By train, I would love to take a train trip. Oh my gosh, no plane, no car. Just relax on a train and just enjoy the scenery. And just go somewhere on a train. A nice train, not, not like a crappy New York City subway train. I'm talking about like a real nice train. One of those train rides, you know, special train ride. Maybe that's something you're going to do for the holidays. I'm going to make this single sh um, short on purpose now. Okay. What the hell? Oh, Dalmatian. We got a Dalmatian here. Who has a Dalmatian? Your little pup. Or you have a doggy. Go see your doggy or spend some time with your doggy. Maybe somebody's getting a Dalmatian or a puppy. You just got one. And then we've got a pair of scissors. My son says, Mom, it's not called a scissors. It's called a pair of scissors. So it's fine, dude. Pair of scissors. Okay. Hairdresser playing with scissors right now. Some of you are running with scissors. Hey, cutting somebody's hair as you're listening. Some of you are hairdressers. Are you going to go get your hair cut or you need to go get your hair cut? Come on now. Get it together. Okay, so those are your charms. Now let's take a look at the singles. You know what? The singles, so, you know what? I'm, let me think now. All right, yeah. The singles we had, there was a king of cups for some of you. And for others, there was a king of pentacles, okay? I'm just going to... I mean, I know I saw them in other ways as well, but I'm just going to put out there King of Cups and the King of Pentacles for those who don't have a past person. All right, let's see what the energy is here. Singles coming in. The singles. So much drama. Uh, somebody asked me what this music was. Um, if I remember, I'll post a link in the description box below. It's um, I can't, I can't read it from here. Okay, so we've got the tower. Ooh, little boom boom time. Little boom boom time. Hmm. Scorpionic energy there with the tower. Mars could be Aries. <clears throat> Let me get more information. Oh, someone, some of you could be meeting like um, rescue personnel. Someone who's a re part of rescue personnel. Maybe they're going to save you from a fire. <laughs> I know that's. I was. That wasn't really a message. I was just looking at the card and thinking like, I don't. I don't. I don't predict things like that. <laughs> Or maybe you are, maybe you work in rescue person, like are a rescue personnel person, and this person works with you. Maybe you meet them on the job, training or something. Oh my gosh, Ten of Cups. Okay, so this person, they definitely work in some kind of rescue. I'm just feeling that really strongly, okay? Yeah, this person's very supportive. Support person. A support person for... They act as a support person or liaison for emergency situations. That's the message they're giving me here. They help families um, who are in some kind of trouble support support person emergency situations oh um okay ten of wands ooh oh my god this person you know like the way they help families or help other people um it's kind of like a habitat for humanity thing when people's homes if they lose their homes and like um 
weather events or fires or catastrophic type situations, you know, floods, hurricanes, tornadoes, that kind of thing. Um, this person comes in and rebuilds. They help to rebuild, help families rebuild their homes, um, get reestablished. You know, they give support in that way. They not only help during the crisis or the emergency, but they also come in when the emergency is over and then they, you know, they carry the wood, they bring all the, they carry the heavy load, they help families and they help people get back to their normal lives. A real saint. This person comes through to me as a real saint. Oh, look at that. Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. This person's definitely no jerk, that's for sure. Hard worker, very reliable type of a person. Patient, male or female. They help others. They have a very service type of way about them. Helping people in need. Maybe you do that too, but they're there. Ooh, they help them with their legal and financial problems as well. This person actually might do this on the side and actually be like a lawyer or a judge or they, uh, maybe they do like pro bono work that kind of thing. They, they don't pressure people to pay them. They're just like, well, when you can pay me, you can pay me, or I do it for free, that kind of thing. Um, it could be a Libra, it could be a Scorpio, or an Aries. Um, this person believes in doing the right thing. They're very altruistic, very. The right thing in their mind is to help other people. That's where they get their sense of self-worth from, by helping others. This person is all about solutions. Very well-balanced and truthful type of person. Very honest. Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, so they just told me when, when catastrophe strikes or when ruin or upheavals or things like that happen in life, they're, so they're just giving me, so you know who this person is. When these things happen around them, this person is not shook. They don't get shook. They're very grounded. And they're just like, they don't, there's nothing that surprises them. So if you come in and you tell them something that you've been through, what you dealt with, they're like, I hear you. I feel you. They're not like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow. They're not like that. So don't expect them to be someone who's... I hate to say this, but this person, they're very compassionate and caring as I've just, if I just, I've described, but they've seen a lot worse. And they're going to tell you, you know, I've seen things, nothing surprises me anymore. That's what I feel. Nothing surprises me anymore. I don't get shook. Uh, because they, this person may be in like an emergency room or they may have seen some pretty dreadful things in the world. Um, they've been on the front lines. They're on the front lines of things and they're just real calm and cool. And they kind of have this air of like apathy, like it just doesn't affect them. And this is the way they are and this is why they can do what they do. Because people who can't handle emergency type situations or are too sensitive or get shook. This person's solid, solid as a rock. 
and people who can't handle things like that they don't do these things there's this is special angels these types of people some of you might even be that way yourselves so you might find camaraderie with this person you might find a kinship that starts some kind of thing here um they're just telling me the end of october into november October, November, this person, you're going to meet them around sometime between, some of you might have already met them, like last week or something, and others, um, up until like November 15th, I feel. <laughs> I swear this King of Cups, I'm going to take him out of this deck because he is in all of the readings. Where is the Queen of Cups? Why is it always the King of Cups? You see me shuffling. So like in the last reading, that could have been somebody new from your home. You might already know this person. Like I said, King of Cups is very emotional and very compassionate and a supportive person, very tolerant and full of empathy, okay? So that's why this person is able to do the things, helping others, because they have that compassion and that deep feeling for people. A very people-oriented person. They don't get shook. Okay. Three of Swords. Oh. This person's divorced. They've had their heart broken. This person has had their heart broken, and this is why... They don't get shook. Are they closed off to love? No. But they felt the pain deeply. And this is why this person does the things that they do. Because they know what it feels like to lose everything or to be so hurt or devastated. They took their pain and they built a castle with it. Or they build castles for other people. They take their pain and build castles for others, and that builds them up. That makes them feel like they have a purpose. They have a life's purpose. This is a pretty amazing person you're going to meet, Virgo. Pretty damn amazing. And they are totally single, 100%. You're not going to have to worry about any exes or like that's all done with you don't get to worry about any playing around or any crap or you know doubt trust this person you're gonna know they're gonna show you who they are and you're just gonna know that you feel safe and you can trust this person yep see there's a virgo card okay this person is 100 percent trustworthy they're all on their own. They're not with anybody else. And when they're by themselves, they're reflecting and seeking spiritual um, wisdom. Okay? The time that they spend by themselves, you're never going to have to say, oh, they're with someone else, or they're cheating or they're lying, based on your trauma and the stuff that you've gone through. No. When this person is by themselves, um, this person doesn't repeat, repeat past mistakes. They learn from them. They don't get, they're not stuck in past energy. Okay. Um, they're very truthful and very honest. So for some, it's, I will tell you, it's, um, well, the energies that are here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Virgo. Okay. Okay. And the Eight of Cups. This person's on a spiritual journey. They're going to be very similar to you. Very similar. It's really beautiful. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Comple like They're on the same path as you are, Virgo. And this is where the kinship is going to happen. They're on the same path. There isn't really much different about the two of you. You might do different things on your spiritual paths, but heading in the same direction. I feel like I said that in another reading. Two people who are on parallel lines but haven't met yet. Maybe you're on that train. Maybe you're on those trains coming into town and, you know, the tracks cross and you guys connect. Okay. So where are you going to meet this person?
Hmm. They just said, um, if you're traveling or you're going somewhere, uh, some of you hiking, do you hike? I don't know where anybody lives. So some of you might live in an area where you could hike. You might meet this person while you're hiking or, um, It just feels like while you're in movement, you'll both be in movement on some kind of journey here. Hiking through the mountains. Maybe you're camping. Do people camp? October, November, I guess maybe they do. It just feels like while you're traveling. And when I say travel, listen, travel could just be from one town to the next. It could be from one state to the next, one county to the next. Um, it could be one country to the next but for most of you I feel like it's it's foot travel so you could just be walking down the street and you know spending the day out and shopping or just you know doing your usual when you're out walking maybe if you're exercising or running or walking you might meet them in like a place that you would go to or maybe you go to a new place and you run into them so get your hike on get your get your walking and your running on Get your running shoes and your workout gear. <laughs> and if you're not doing that, hell. Because I, I feel like whatever you're going to be doing, that's where you're going to meet them. Whatever you're going to be doing. Even if you're just walking, shopping, walking up and down the street, it's on foot. It feels like it's on foot. And some of you are walking from county to county, state to state. Who knows? Maybe you're doing a forest gum. You're running across the country. Marathon. Maybe somebody's doing a marathon. You could be meeting them there running for you know it could be like um a benefit a marathon benefit to raise money for a medical thing or something running for heart health or you know um heart disease american heart lung well that's here um, but wherever i don't know any pl other places there could be other things in the world some type of charity event i just heard Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave your reading there. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. I hope that you got some good guidance and good messages out of there. And um, don't forget to join me on Friday, this Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you miss it, if you can't make it, go to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot. I am there Saturday morning, 11 a.m., to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just hop on there Saturday morning and you can also get a mini reading from me there. All right, you guys. So don't worry. You can always catch me. And um, yeah, that's it. So I will see you all tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful evening, wonderful day, wonderful morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Thanks. Love you. Catch you guys later. And thanks to all the moths. All right. Bye.